So in this video I'm going to talk about mitochondria and the functions of mitochondria as well as its um, components. And so the major purpose of a mitochondria as many of you may have heard is it's the powerhouse it's the powerhouse of the cell so essentially what it does is it makes um, it converts glucose fat protein whatever those macronutrients into energy so it allows your body to move and allows you to live and so makes makes energy and the energy that your body uses is known as ATP and we'll get into that later the whole structure of ATP but essentially it's a molecule with three phosphate groups and the third the, between the second pretend those are phosphate groups and this is one two three this bond right there is very very strained and when this breaks off and when this three just essentially leaves it releases energy and just releases a lot of energy and also a key thing to note is that the amount of mitochondria in cells in animal cells for example in human it varies greatly so for example muscles as you can imagine need a lot of energy so as a result muscles have lots of mitochondria muscle cells sorry have lots of mitochondria And then let me erase some of this. And believe it or not, your liver actually, your liver cells actually have a lot of mitochondria. because your liver is the most metabolically met, metabolically active organ and now let's talk about the structure and components of the mitochondria so as you can see in the image there are essentially two major parts to the mitochondria that we worry about and so as you can see these foldings right there that fold inside of the mitochondria and kind of make it it essentially gives it more surface area those folds are called cristae and all of the blue liquid that you see inside the cristae is called the matrix of the mitochondria and the outside the mitochondria has double membrane And so one important thing of the matrix is that the matrix is that cell it's involved in cellular respiration. It has a bunch of enzymes involved in cellular respiration, which is essentially making energy. I will make a video on that in the future. So it's important in cellular respiration. And the matrix, I mean the cristae, 
also helps in making energy because the electron transport chain is located on the cristae. But we'll get into that when we talk about cellular respiration and how energy is made. Finally, a fun fact to know is that the mitochondria was derived from purple bacteria. And the mitochondria is one of the organisms, uh, one of the organelles believed to have um, originated separately from an original cell because it has its own DNA and ribosomes not low shown in the picture.